Hello classmates, in this lesson, we will learn about the electrical control circuit of grinding machines. Through the learning in this section, M7130, we can correctly inspect the electrical control circuit of M7130 grinding machine. Firstly, let's understand the application of grinding machines. In mechanical processing, when there is a high requirement for the surface smoothness of parts, it is generally necessary to use a grinding machine for processing. A grinding machine is a precision machine tool that uses the periphery or end of the grinding wheel to machine the surface of the workpiece. There are many types of grinding machines, according to their different purposes, which can be divided into surface grinding machines, internal cylindrical grinding machines, external cylindrical grinding machines, centerless grinding machines, etc. The M7130 type surface grinding machine is a widely used grinding machine in mechanical processing which uses grinding wheels to grind the flat surfaces of various parts. The model meaning of M7130 surface grinder is as follows. M, grinding machine. 7, flat. 1, horizontal axis rectangular workbench. The working surface width of the workbench is 300 mm. Maintenance operation steps. 1. Under the guidance of the teacher, operate the grinder, be familiar with the main structure and movement forms of M7130, and understand the various working states and operating methods of the grinder. 2. Refer to the electrical location and wiring diagram of the grinding machine, be familiar with the actual position and wiring situation of the grinding machine electrical components, and find the actual wiring path through measurement and other methods. 3. Based on the fault phenomenon, use logical analysis method to preliminarily determine the fault range based on the circuit diagram and mark the minimum fault range in the circuit diagram. 4. Take appropriate inspection methods to identify the fault points and troubleshoot them correctly. Let's take a look at the specific operation process below. Play video. After starting the spindle motor M1, press SB2 and M1 will start running if it cannot self-lock. Release SB2 and then M1 will stop the self-locking contact of contactor KM due to poor contact or loose connection wire. Connect Q fan measure the voltage at both ends of the self-locking contact, 6 to 7, of KM. If the voltage is normal, the fault is poor contact of the self-locking contact. If there is no voltage, the fault is a broken or loose connection wire, 6, 7. The spindle motor M1 cannot stop the fusion welding of the KM main contact. The stop button SB1 is broken or the connecting wires at points 5 and 6 in the circuit are short-circuited. The end face of the KM iron core is stuck by oil stains and cannot be disengaged disconnect the QF. If the KM is released, it indicates that the fault is the breakdown of the stop button SB1 or a short circuit in the wire. If KM is released after a period of time, the fault is that the end face of the iron core is stuck by oil dirt. If the KM is not released, the fault is the fusion welding of the KM main contact. Corresponding measures can be taken to repair according to the situation. During the operation of the spindle motor, the shutdown thermal relay KH1 acts, which may be caused by The power supply voltage is unbalanced or too low wink with if the setting value is too small. Excessive load, poor contact of connecting wires, etc. Identify the cause of KH1 action and reset it after troubleshooting. The illumination light EL does not turn on and the bulb is damaged, FU4 is blown, poor contact of SA contact, TC secondary winding disconnection or loose joint, poor contact between bulb and lamp holder, etc. Take corresponding measures to repair according to the specific situation. 4. Notes. 1. Before maintenance, it is necessary to carefully read and analyze the circuit diagram, proficiently grasp the principles and functions of each control link, and carefully observe the teacher's demonstration maintenance. 2. The use of tools and instruments should meet the usage requirements. 3. During maintenance, it is strictly prohibited to expand the fault range or generate new fault points. For, if there is a power outage, during live maintenance, there must be guidance teachers on site to ensure the safety of electricity use. At the same time, make good training records. That's the end of the content for this class. See you next time.